Hey folks, it's James and it's day eight of the 12 days of Procreate. And one of the things I hear most often from my students is that they feel overwhelmed by all the choices of brushes and colors in Procreate. So today I'm gonna to share three related power tips that are gonna help you sort all that out. Number one, how to create your own brush library so you can keep all your favorite brushes in one place. Number two, how to create your own color palette so you can keep your favorite colors all in one place. And finally, how to retroactively adjust any color you choose so you never have to worry about picking the wrong color. And at the end of the video, I'm going to share an incredible way to adjust just a portion of any area of the color using what's called pencil mode. So be sure to stick around for that. So get out your iPad, download the assets in the description below, and let's add these three amazing productivity tips to your bag of tricks in Procreate. To create your own brush set, tap the brush library icon, pull down on the left side list, tap the plus sign, tap inside the highlight box, and give it a title. Then go to one of the other brush sets that you would like to borrow a brush from. Select the brush, swipe right to left to duplicate. Then hold down on the duplicate brush and drag it over the name of your new brush library. And when it opens up to this blank area, drag and drop that brush into the blank area. To repeat, go to another set of brushes, choose a brush, swipe right to left, duplicate that brush, tap and hold down on the duplicate brush and drag it over your new brush set. Wait for your brush set to open up, then release that brush into that brush set. To create a new custom color palette, tap on the color indicator circle, tap on the plus sign at the top, tap create new palette, tap below on the disc or classic or any of the other modes, choose the hue of the color you would like and choose the brightness and saturation. Then go back to the palette tab and tap inside the new palette you created. Repeat the process to add more colors. Tap on disk. Choose the hue you want with the outside ring. Choose the intensity you want with the inside ring. Return to the palette tab and tap in that grid to add that color to your palette. To name your new palette, tap on the title itself and just begin typing. To rearrange colors in your new palette, Tap and hold on the individual color and move it over to the part of the grid where you would like to see it. Tap and hold and move over. Notice that things reshuffle quite a bit. So just keep experimenting until you get the order that you want. To retroactively change the color of any color in an existing canvas. Choose the color you'd like to adjust. Tap the adjustments menu. Tap hue, saturation, and brightness. And use the sliders to change the hue and the saturation and the brightness of that color. To retroactively adjust using the pencil mode of the adjustments menu, select the color you'd like to change, tap adjustments and hue, saturation, and brightness. 
tap the drop down menu at the top and select pencil instead of layer. Check that you have the right brush selected, in this case the airbrush. Tell Procreate roughly what you would like to do ahead of time by sliding the brightness slider in this case. And then simply begin applying that change or that adjustment to the color. After applying the color or after changing those pixels, return to the sliders to make any other adjustments you need, including changing the hue to match what is already there. Remember to go into much more depth about all things Procreate. Check out the link to the Procreate Accelerator in the description below. To see the next video in this series, click on the image you see here, and I will see you in the next lesson.